ever so slightly off, but just enough to make a difference when you're drilling a hole or trying to center a piece to your headstock. I never noticed it until I was making a turn the other day and I looked at the face and I said, you know, it's not centered. So, welcome to my shop. My name is Harold Mills. I'm Captain Data and this is my YouTube site. I do woodworking and a bunch of other stuff. So, but one of the things I do like is woodworking. And uh, I bought a Nova Galaxy DVR lathe, uh, I don't know, a few years ago. And I love it. Uh, it's a great lathe. Uh, I've made a lot of things on it. But from time to time, I, I have a problem with it um, not being on center. And uh, the holes wouldn't turn out true. The, you know, I drill a quarter inch hole and it'd come out to be 5 sixteenths or. <clears throat> I'd run a fortuner bit through there, and the fortuner bit would kind of wobble off a little bit on the side. It wouldn't be quite the, you know, I couldn't get quite the size right. I never could figure out why, but I, I just thought I had like a crappy uh, uh, chuck or something, and that was what was doing it. But uh, as it turns out, it wasn't the chuck. The chuck was very good. I paid him off for it, but it was good. And uh, I was doing a uh, job making some uh, guitar knobs for a friend of mine. And when I, I put the piece of wood up in there, I, I took the live center and I brought it up to it and I had it spinning. And it was just ever, it was to a very sharp point. And uh, it was just ever so off the center. So I saw it and I said, so it's not lined up right. I said, I know when I got the lathe, they told me to take two live centers, put them together and verify that they're uh, lined up. And I did that. And at that time, it was lined up, so I assumed that was a quality check out of the box and never really did it again after that. I just assumed when you lock it down, everything goes smooth. Eh, probably not. So then I found out it was off, and I was thinking, well, maybe something's broke. I took the, uh, the live center off to see if there was something I could adjust back there, and, and there was, but uh, fortunately, I didn't do it. So I stopped, and I uh, sent an email over to Nova and, and uh, around the world and got hold of Debbie, one of their sales representatives, and she told me, she says, oh, well, you, you need one of these Acura alignment pins. And all it is is a uh, two-ended uh, Morse taper, number two Morse taper pin that you stick uh, into the two live center and the head center to line it up. And basically, I, you, uh, you unlock everything, put it in the tailstock, uh, lock the tailstock down, bring the pin forward into the headstock and then lock the headstock down and then when you take the take the, the tailstock away and take this piece out you've now got it aligned and you get quote unquote accurate so I immediately went off and bought one of these things or ordered it anyway and it was only 20 bucks so no big investment on my part and then uh, I, I went online to figure out how to use it and finding the link to how to use it was not very easy because if you go to the Nova site there's really no instructions. Uh, <clears throat> I had to do a little uh, searching through their site. I finally found two uh, PDFs that told you how to use this and how to do it without this. And you can do it with two uh, live centers that are, are come to a point. And you simply put one in the other, or one in the tailstock, one in the headstock. And then you slowly uh, put these two together and then lock the lock the tailstock down, adjust the headstock, and lock the headstock down. In fact, I found that really preferable to using this because it doesn't take me very long to do it, and I think once you get used to doing it, it's very easy. But, uh, so I, I asked Nova, I said, so do I have to do this, like, a bunch every time I, I, I use the lay there? Or, and Debbie said, oh, no, 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 only if you need to. Well, Debbie, you need to every time you unlock the headstock. It's not a crime to have to do something to align things back up. It's not a perfect, it's not a big expensive one, and I don't know if Robust or any of the other lays have the same problem or you have to do the same thing because I've never owned one of those. But I said, well, the Galaxy, you should have told me, and you didn't, so shame on you. Uh, didn't take me long to figure it out. Once I figured it out, it was uh, okay, and I get great results. So what you really need to do is from time to time you have to align or check the alignment of the head and the tail stock and do it very simply either with a point to point tool or one of these tools works as well and then your projects will be much smoother your holes will be rounder and in line and uh, just the world will just you know really come out just blooming for you 
So I thought I would share that so if somebody else was having that problem, they too could fix it without uh, destroying the work that I did. And I was a bunch of little pieces that I destroyed a little wood because the holes were too big and you can't bring a hole small. So the first thing you do is loosen up your uh, headstock so it moves around a little bit. And then you come back over here and what you do here is you put the accurate system in here and you bring that bad boy up to here and slide it in. You lock this one down and then you tighten it in a little bit like that and then you come back around here and now hmm, you lock down the system and when you do that what you've got left is a system that is perfectly aligned so I hope you like this I hope it was educational I hope it was helpful to you because that's what I try and do is help other people uh, at least other people that own the, in the Galaxy DVR uh, so if you like it, like my uh, video, and if you really like my video, you can subscribe to me and you'll see all of the other goofy things that I do because I just do a lot of stuff. I just find video is another hobby to woodworking, to photograph. So thank you for listening and have a good night.